good. Well, you mentioned self psychology because you know the way self psychology talks about this is that the self is sort of a um, it is something uh, you can sort of define the we have to define the self and from a self psychological perspective there is um, there is the brain and then there is the mind and the mind is an emergent property of the brain okay. and the self is a system that it's an emergent property of the mind in context with other selves. So there's there are sort of layers to this. When you talk right. about self from a self psychological perspective, it is um, it is in, in the self system requires constant maintenance. We have to be able to do something with ourselves. We have to maintain. Uh, Coet talked about um, it has to have. Um, rigor it has to stay cohesive right. and so we there are all these ways that we manage our self states to maintain some level of cohesion and sometimes right. to manage those self states we have to be selfish and that's right. when we are using the people around us to help us as self objects they and they can serve different purposes there are um, what he called mirror self objects where people uh, will reflect back to us things that we need to see idealized self objects we have to people we have to look up to. They need to be ideals that we move toward. Twinship, where we can see that there we have a lot in common. Um, there are a couple of others too, but these are all ways in which we can sort of make use of the people around us to maintain some form of self cohesion. To feel um, and cohesion can be defined as a right. sense of who you are across time. Okay. Right. Some consistency of who we right, are. Yeah. So we wake mm -hmm. up in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, we know about our history, who mm -hmm. right, we were. We can feel, and that throughout the day, we're often generated what are known as not me states. Parts of us that are parts of us, but we're, um, and we commonly call them extimate. They are part of us, but they feel external or they feel alien to who we are. And so those also have to be managed. And they're often managed through projection or projective interjection, like, you know, like. Um, you um, you don't want to acknowledge some of your own anger. Instead, you'll see it in the eyes of someone else. And that's a way of also managing this self-system.